In time, the Great Depression spread like a virus far beyond American borders. Hunger marches, signs of the political times. In Germany, the situation was becoming dangerous. The depression only made worse the already harsh conditions brought on by Germany's loss in World War I. There was real poverty. There was mass unemployment. And because of this, there were protest marches, demonstrations, street fightings. The unemployed people they walked through the town and they shouted slogans, give us bread, give us work. There was so much unrest, so much disorder. We needed a powerful leader, a powerful man to lead us out of it. The first time I saw the Nazis, they marched around in town with uh, brown shirts on, they had proper uniforms, and they had music, and they had flags. And I remember how it impressed me, something military. And we children, we ran along them and uh, tried to sing their songs. The leader of the Nazi movement knew instinctively that Germany's suffering was his opportunity. Adolf Hitler told the demoralized Germans that he could cure what ailed them. His speeches, they were rousing. He started always off quietly. Come, feel a home. And he talked about ordinary things, and then he worked himself up, saying something like, uh, Our enemies, they think we are the footmen of the world, and I promise you, I will erase all that. We demand our place in the sun, which is rightly ours, and I will lead you there. I will lead you there, I promise it. We had tears in our eyes. In 1932, Hitler's rapidly growing Nazi party took 37% of the vote in parliamentary elections. Though not a majority, he had outpolled all the other parties. Hitler used his new strength to seize the chancellorship of Germany and destroy opposition to his rule. On January 30th, 1933, his followers celebrated his ascension to power with a torchlight victory parade through Berlin. Propelled by hard times, the Nazi era had begun. The procession moved on through the Wilhelmstrasse. Martian music could be heard. The torchlights were, were gleaming and uh, there was a strange light in the street. And there was this atmosphere of irreality, almost. It's almost black magic. Hitler was able to arouse the masses in such way that they forgot reason. But he had charisma, no doubt about that. And he promised the people that they would get work. People were desperate, you see. People being desperate.